Hello everybody, welcome to the third game from Division 1, Week 5 of Aero BB. We've got Drac Black Claw and his Lizardmen versus That There Phil and his Nurgle. Um, Drac is down a fair bit of TV, so he has got Silly Billy, which is a pretty bleeding good star player, isn't he? He's fantastic, Silly Billy. But obviously you'd rather not be 250 TV down, but hey. And... Uh, it's actually not the scariest Nurgle team ever. Um, that there, Phil, obviously played really well with it to get in Division 1 because it's it's, it's alright, but it's nothing special, you know. It's a uh, block guard. You know, just two skills, there's no claw. No claw at all. So it's not a, not a particularly scary Nurgle team at all. Um, so, isn't that interesting? <laughs> But obviously that makes it not that good against lizards, right? There's no there's no claws to to claw mighty the uh, saurus. So yeah, interesting. They're a Nurgle team that's done really well without being a good Nurgle team, which is very rare, isn't it? Like, Nurgle are a terrible team. Instant removal, pretty nice. So getting the results. Oh my god, he rerolled. <laughs> Rerolled a foul appearance into another one. <laughs> I did that twice in a game versus Endzone on Blood Bowl on Fumble. On Fumble, I had a game where I rerolled foul appearance twice and failed both times. Unbelievable, Jeff. Does the foul with a skilled up skink? Gets the removal? Regen though. I think if I wanted to do that foul, I maybe would have started with the uh, skillless one. Uh, like, start without the sprint one, right? Start without the sprint one. Put on the skills one to do the foul. If that was going to be the plan, the game plan. But that was a very, very good regen for uh, Phil. Wasn't it? And I guess he rerolled it because he didn't want, you know, to give away these two hits, right? That's why he wanted to reroll the foul appearance, but. I don't know, it's 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 hard to put a reroll into these, I think. I think you know you just gotta eat, eat your ones most of the time. Especially only three rerolls. And early in the drive. But you know, obviously that might blow blitz he's gonna blitz someone anyway, right? So you're only giving away one hit really by by failing that. Oh wow, we're going for the uh, big boy big boy blitz. Hell of a Croxigore, isn't it? Hell of a Croxigore, to be fair. Uh, block guard, stand firm. Really nice Crocs. Uh, we're going to foul this Rotter as well, maybe. I'll be honest, I absolutely hate um, fouling, uh, fouling, caging at the line like this. I absolutely hate it. It's just to blitz, blitz him and put the, you know, put the beast straight onto the ball. Um, and I hate it with any team versus any team. It's not just because it's, uh, you know, tentacles on a strength of two. Uh, oh. Miss C or Miss Miss C or Miss Click. One of one of those two. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to blitz the... Uh, sure looks like he was trying to blitz this guy, doesn't it? Sure looks like he was trying to blitz this guy. Brought in the assist and then was going to hit him and then activate the... Thing. So yeah, this is great strategy. Uh, great strategy, caging directly behind the LOS. <laughs> Pays off spectacularly well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I just hate it with everyone. Like you know, like just have it next to square back, and then and you just, it's just so much harder to like to put you under the cosh. Like it just invites pressure doing this. But you know, like, sometimes you can want to invite pressure. So like it's not strictly bad or whatever but i think caging behind like that does invite pressure like look how much safer this is right like he can't do anything now to pressure the ball like just anything at all so yeah i don't, I don't like that cage behind the los directly behind the los finally gets sent off and at least this time it was with like the right skink just the sprint one instead of the uh diving tackle so it's done I mean, it's harder for him though, right? He's got a double. He's got a double misclick now, whereas last turn he only had to do one. So it's it's it, it's 
<laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's so much better. Like this is this is so much better than last turn. That that's the point. The point is this is this formation is like a million times better than last turn. Unless you want to draw them onto you and then scoop past them, which you do as like elves or something, you know, or even as lizard men sometimes. Sometimes you do want to draw that on and then scoop past them. But just as like a random turn, this random turn was so much better than the previous random turn. I think. Or should I say Tink? No sidestep on the ball carrier is a bit shit, isn't it? Um, it's really, really, really nice having sidestep on the ball carrier. And, uh, but you know, side, uh, sure hands is really good as well. Um, yeah, it's weird because surely... I don't know which one you get first, but if I've got a move 9 inch 4 guy, I'm never picking it up on anyone else. <laughs> So, did he get the sure hands? Like, the sure hands, it's weird, isn't it? I guess have it both in case they've got a wizard. But, uh, I don't really like having a sure hands and move nine guy. Well, the edge four guy, more importantly. I guess it helps with the one turn, you can pick it up with the sure hands and then hand it off to the one turn. Yeah, it's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible. And you're not getting a lot of block. So even keeping it as more just for the one turn, it's alright, I guess. Good against a wizard. Good against, like, you know, well, not good. Better against elves. <laughs> Versus Elliot. <laughs> Protects against the strip. But obviously the, the block tackle strength three is still bad for news for you. Stand firm. City build is just amazing, isn't he? Move seven. Block guard, stand firm, grab. Hell of a hell of a player. Really incredible. And then even better on Lizardman because he's taken the place of a skink. I think I would have done this blitz first. So you could blitz him and then see where you are afterwards. Oh, he's blitzing with the crocs. Okay, he's blitzing with the crocs. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, great play. The, um... No, the Mighty Blow didn't make any difference. Regen. <laughs> Bit of a dicing. Three Kaz. The problem, the problem with blitzing with the crocs is obviously it might fail, and then this guy isn't doing anything else. Well, I guess he is. He's running around there. I'd have liked to do this, and then if you break armor, then you can maybe tag somebody else or run back, or you know, like using this guy to then decide what you do with things. I think was okay because that guy could have hit the guy at the crocs it anyway. I just blocking with him is fine, I guess. <laughs> Can you see how to hit the ball? <laughs> yeah, that was not the most defended ball ever. I had to do it if I didn't need to get it safe. Presumably. Presumably he didn't just stand there. Presumably it would have been a GFI. I like going for the re-roll there. It's, it seems a bit crap, doesn't it? But you really need to get him down, otherwise he's just going to pick up the ball and run away again. So I feel like that... Uh, that reroll was very, very good reroll. I kind of hate this. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I think you block this guy and see what happens. Because if you pow him, then you're just picking up one tackle zone, right? But if you don't pow, oh my god, one D. If you don't pow him, then then you probably have to do that that two D. Uh, sorry, that 1D. And you probably have to do that 1D to move him. Yeah, so he doesn't power him. So now, if you've done that one first, then you can do this 1D and then grab him over there or whatever. And then you've got your one tackle zone pickup. Out of rerolls. But the team uh, pretty much. 
corralled. Bit of American there for you. A very easy hit on the ball, though, isn't it, with tackle? No, oh, not that easy anymore. Doesn't get the power either. So that adds a square. Three, four, five, six. We've got a GFI. Uh, I disp. Ah, uh, yeah, he's. Um, do I despise that? It's a two plus to not turn over. It's probably correct. No, because he's followed already. I don't know. Oh, was he always going to be blocked? Oh, I hated that block. I hated the one either. Anyway, hit the ball with tack block and tackle and didn't not and just got double pushes. Well, skull and a push. Outrageous. Crocs is like his most reliable player now, isn't it? With uh, having block and no rerolls. And mighty blow. So basically might as well activate him first unless unless boneheading kills you. GFI at the end, probably. I mean, if you're going to do that, you should do it first, right? Just ordering. And he runs it in. He's not confident at the start. And I guess there's only two turns for that there, Phil. That's probably it's probably correct actually scoring that when you think about it. When you think about it, Nurgle, one reroll, two turns, probably not gonna score, he's got no move ups or add ups or anything. So it's just the league. It's just the league sounds like right, I'm in their league. All of their all of my league games are on YouTube and I'm gonna well, I don't know if I'm gonna start. I should really have talked to the league. And my Division One, uh, you know, compatriots, and asked about all of this, but I didn't. I just decided to do it. So there you go. Um, at least for this week. But I think I'll do it in future, you know, provided everyone's okay. But yeah, I guess I shouldn't have just. I guess I shouldn't have just unilaterally decided to uh, <laughs> to cast all of the games. But there you go. That's what's happening for this week, at least. I like it just being Division 1 in the final season because results don't matter till then. <laughs> I don't think I'd do it as a regular thing before when nothing matters. But now that the results matter for, like, a lot of people. Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't think anybody would mind either, but there's a difference between thinking and knowing, isn't there? Knowing is half the battle. I don't like that. Oh, it was a riot. Okay. Okay, so it was a riot, so he didn't get the chance to score anyway. I thought, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> when he's got a two-turn to score. But no, he wasn't insane. Um, <laughs> there had been a riot. So... Yep. And he wouldn't have had much chance anyway, so... Not too bad. Not too bad a riot, really. Good half from Drac, isn't it? That uh, basically assures the, the draw almost. It's really hard for, you know. First of all, the Nurgle haven't outbashed him. And even if they had, it's still hard for them to get down and score two unless they really outbash you. So, he looks to have at least the draw secured. Did he forget to run out of time or forget to move this guy? Uh, I don't like exposing skinks at all. I want this guy across, this guy across, this guy across, and this guy across. So you can't hit skinks. Do not want skinks to get punched. You know, as much as I mock the old Reddit, you know, blitz the skinks, uh, you still don't want them to get hit, you know, completely easily, do you? You don't just give free hits on your skinks. You do want to protect them or make them, like, you know, cost positionally to blitz them. You want to make them the worst positional blitz. Because they're 
you know, if your opponent doesn't have claw pawn, they're going to be like the best attrition blitz. Well, most likely attrition blitz. Not the most impactful attrition blitz, but the most likely. There you go. Much more impactful, isn't it? Much more impact impactful removing a saurus than removing a skink. So, it's interesting. Super interesting, as Kalon might say. That like the better removal is obviously is always Saurus, but the easier removal is usually. That's always skink. No, not always. It could be niggled. It could be a niggled Saurus. Yeah, needed. They needed the push there, didn't he? Maybe he shouldn't have blitzed with. Uh, maybe he shouldn't have blitzed with, silly Billy, so that he could have. Um, so he could have re-rolled that if he had foul appearance. Because I'm sure he wanted to open this lane to get these guys through. Probably didn't want to use the guarders here. Probably wanted to put the guarders in here. Oh no, at least one guard in here. It didn't need two guarders. But probably wanted a guarder in there and then punch him so that he could have dodged through there but I mean this isn't terrible right it's like, there's not a lot of interest in that this and this could be better actually could be better following up and getting on him is pretty nice even though you know you can still free him up with uh, you know just block him off it's already done a job because it's used his activation and now this 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 skink is terrifying, isn't it, for uh, that there, Phil? This is really dodgy for the uh, Nurgle right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, it's basically GG, isn't it? Oh, no, he's got this guy to come in. He's not come in. He had to uh, do not that, I think. Well, it doesn't really matter. He just need to punch this guy and then blitz in. Or could he just have walked in? One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have just walked in. He didn't even blitz. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have just walked in. He didn't even need to break tackle. He could have just walked in for the blitz. Oh, my God. I guess he hasn't got tackle on it. It's the only thing. But, like, literally, he was here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have just blitzed. The, the guard should, should have just blitzed instantly. Didn't even need to do the two plus. And if he gets him down, <laughs> the edge four just scores, doesn't he? Flip me. Nightmare situation for that there, Phil. Ooh, I think you have to not take that block. You have to not take that block. Like, even if you pow, how is it really helping you? Like, just not at all, really, right? Even full power there, unless you cas him. And even casting him is only helping in the future, whereas now it gives him another player to come back, helping this absolute god awful mess. Oh man. I guess if he had powered him, that, that it would have been harder to get the uh, beast in here. So, you know, it would have done something, but I just think the risk was too high to score. Now all of a sudden it's a lot safer, but it's uh, still not good, is it? Well, re-rolled you so he couldn't re-roll the hit again. For huge removal, mighty blow tackler gone.
Just gotta keep this guy near the ball. But not easily hittable. Might, maybe he's gonna be running back that turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Like maybe this guy could have just run all the way back there. I wouldn't have even hated it, honestly. Because he's kind of like, he's kind of, uh. Kind of dealing with it now, isn't he? Um, oh, huge. Just remove the Saurus. There you go. That's how to win. That's how to win, just remove all the Saurus. Easy as you like. This could be really costly or really good. Uh, it's unbelievably good. I might have been tempted to just try and fall plus away from him. <laughs> I literally just try and fall plus away with that guy and like so at least he's got one guy on him. Like it's so annoying the crocs ago. I like not activating the beast there, he's in a good enough spot, isn't he? He's not in the best spot, but he's in a good enough spot, so just don't activate him, don't run the risk. I'm try and get everything back in front again now, I guess. The uh, pursuit has failed. Half the team's been removed. <laughs> just, uh, just try and get back in front and hope for the best. Bit sad for Drac, had a real... Real dangerous few turns there. Now has to just regroup and uh, maybe get something later. I like it. I think this was the right player to have this kind of more conservative turn in here. Oof! The double skulls. You just have the problem of this not being a cage, isn't it? solves it. God, this is a bit rough though, isn't he? He's only got skinks to like screen with, so he's just not gonna screen. Because he's down players, he's just his Saurus get tagged out. The uphill double pal, way. Yeah, I quite like going for the dog there. Like it absolutely sucks, but at least it gives you a chance to do something rather than just get flattened by a mighty blow hit. Maybe he could have stood up and tried to just screen with skinks. And that Saurus. But. You really don't want to. Maybe, maybe having it in, in there was worth it just to stop one of the warriors moving up. It's not great, but it's something, isn't it? Again, not do keeping, not dodging him out would have worked better with keeping the skinks in front. But boy, how do you don't want to keep the, the skinks in front? No. Yeah, 
attacking him is good. So, you know, he's only got one free Saurus. Well, putting the uh, sidestep down and tackle on the ball is not terrible, is it? <gasps> that is, though. Oh my god, the two blade ones. Diced. He even gets to hit this guy now. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've already played Drake as well, so there's no, no reason to cheer on his deaths of his players, but how can you not cheer for the death of a move 9 edge 4 skin? Yeah, just just lost too many souls, didn't he? He just couldn't couldn't really mount a defence. Or would have had to expose gig switches. You know. Never something you want to do. Sing for SVPs at this point. Yeah, probably should probably should have got him out of dodge first. <laughs> oh. There will be a one turn chance here. There's no stand firm on the uh, Nurgle team. So you're telling me there's a chance. Got plenty of guard, grab. Not using the disturbed presence near the line. I mean, it's three of them, obviously, so he's using it a bit. <laughs> but this is also foul appearance as well, right? So it's foul appearance and disturbed presence. So then what you could do is try and put your guy, like, here or something, so he's only in one zone, and then blitz and chain a bunch of them, depending on how many players he's got. You're definitely not there, anyway. He's using the whole method. Oh god! I mean, if you want to use the whole method, just block with uh, just block with, just block with uh, silly Billy, right? That could have just been a silly Billy straight block. Not what I would have done. I hate the whole method. You can you can use it for free with Study Billy. But there's a tight LOS. So you've just got to balance between having more shots at the pushers and making the catch easier. Are the big things to think about and then maybe whether to give like grab give you a chance where only you need to with uh, having to be able to Chain and you could have chained to make the uh, to kind of use the whole method. You can power on the first hit. I mean, you don't even need a power. Like it's it's really it's honestly so easy to do that. It, the only thing that made it hard was the beast having tentacles, so that makes it harder to use the beast because obviously you'd have to power him at the end, um, and the three disturbing presence. So. You know, I think if you've got an Edge 4 Skink, Movement 9, here's my tip to Drac, is to have a look at one turns. There is a, 
there's KFOG's videos, there's various things on, you know, various websites of like diagrams and stuff. Practice yourself in single player. You know, any any Skaven player or you know should 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 be really good at it and uh you know, with a movement nine, edge four skink is like one of the best one turners, isn't he? Like, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing having the stunty. Makes him very, very reliable. Just needs like sidestep, sprint show feet, and uh, an extra movement. And then he's probably the best one turner. You can argue, can't you? You can definitely argue a skink makes the best one turner with uh, having stunty. Pretty good game anyway, wasn't it? You know, held, held their own, the, the little lizards. Um, 200 odd TV down. Held their own against the not actually so scary Nurgle, so you know they did do great last season the Nurgle, but yeah maybe maybe they you know this is a step too far for them like the the Orcs have much more um, like TV efficiency than they do the Chaucer have got a bit of claw it's not actually easy for this Nurgle team uh, so it's going to be super interesting so there you go congrats to both I guess and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.